<laughs> hey guys, it's Sunday morning. We are on our way up to the cloud. Say hi, mom. Hi. And uh, we're stopping at the en route to grab a couple coffees before we head up to the cottage. And we're going to be uh, just getting the pontoon boat ready for sale. There's the people are supposed to be picking it up today. And then we're also tidying, like moving some of the heavy stuff so that uh, you guys don't have to do that while I'm uh, in Palm Springs. So uh, first we have to get coffees. Coffees is number one. You're just going to move that? Yeah. And the lady at the drive-thru didn't seem to be awake. very happy, <laughs> but grumpy. But I guess they, they all have their headsets on, so you never know who is the person who you're talking to, because you never know who's taking the orders. Hello. Hi. Like she was super she, happy. She's had she a nice good. Whip. Thank you. There's your money. Two cream. Two cream. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. So, she was nice. The yeah. woman who was taking the drive through orders just didn't seem like she was that happy. I think the other person is somewhere else. There yeah. That anyway, we're heading up to the cottage. You ready, Mom? Ready. Let's go. Stop for gas, Ultramar. I'm not sure what area we just passed Weber. So I gotta gas up Mom's car for her. Being a good boy, trying to vlog as much as possible for you guys today. So the story goes about the the drone. The first guy downtown Toronto didn't have the ribbon to fix. There's a ribbon that goes from the drone to the camera and they figured that's been damaged from a couple of the falls that I've had with it. And so the guy downtown, downtown, downtown Toronto couldn't fix it, but there was a guy in Scarborough that had a ribbon that could fix it. And he was supposed to pick up the drone from the guy in Toronto on Thursday, but he never came, never came Friday. Uh, Saturday morning, uh, I think I sent the guy an email saying when can I pick it up hopefully everything's done and he still hadn't picked it up and then I got a call from the guy from downtown Toronto Frazier awesome guy uh, he said that he phoned me up and said oh the guy hasn't picked it up yet he sounded kind of upset and disappointed that this wasn't happening and uh, because I need the drone today because I'm leaving basically tonight and uh, so he I said well I've, I've contacted the guy from Scarborough he says he can fix it. Uh, luckily, my wife's going to be down in North York, so he's going to try and drop it off to my wife, but I still haven't heard anything from him. And I'm driving right now, so I can't text him or her. So I'll have to wait till I get to the next stop, probably at the cottage. And then I'm going to have to email him to tell him where my wife is going to be so he can drop off the drone. Hopefully he's, he's fixed it. If he hasn't, I'm going to be really pissed. This car takes a lot of gas. What is this, a Mazda what? Oh, I bumped my head. CX-9. CX-9? Yeah. All right. Look at my mom's cool shades. Where's my card? <laughs> oh, you want, my, you want the card back? <laughs> yeah. Don't show anybody Thank your card. You. All right, we're off to the cottage. Let's go. made it to the cottage this is our new well right here I got a lot of work to do Wow well, that's our new well so we're gonna have well water um, it looks like they tried to maybe fix so when they drill down they bring up a lot of dirt and sludge and then of course it all slid down that way 
Uh, there was trees here, now they're gone, so we have more parking now. And then they try to move the gravel around. That's our new septic system. Things have changed. Oh look, there's a new box on the side of the cottage. I guess that's for the new septic system. So the stuff came right up. This is at least four inches higher because it's not supposed to be level with this wood. This was a pathway that we had going through here. It used to be like that high. So all that sludge came down here, filled this up. At least they, I wish I'd known it was going to be that much because then I would have put like, like a wall of dirt or something there just so that it didn't go over. We could have put uh, boards up or something. Yeah, something. And of course it went all down our rock steps. Uh, I have to dig all that out. You just can't have dirt up against your cottage, your wood cottage. I don't remember leaving the ladder out. I gotta take the leaf blower to the deck. Get that off first so we can put all the furniture back out. The water level is definitely way high because <laughs> the rock dock isn't even visible. Like it was, yeah, like there's no steps visible over there. Yeah, I don't remember leaving a chair out either. That's a broken one, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Well, it's snowing. I gotta get the new gloves that Carol gave me. Perfect timing. Got to do the uh, the deck first. All fueled up, ready to go. need to have done now and uh, now we have to do take all the inside or the outside stuff that's inside take it out look what I did <laughs> this, the leaves are so there's so much muck here trying to get rid of these leaves just threw it all over the side of the house so I had to hose the house off not good now all this stuff has got to be put back in order. Just pulling the beds down because we put them up against the wall. And look what we found. Juicy. Doodly-loo. doodly 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 Arachnophobia. Yeah, I'll have to get a cup and trap him. Please. And a paper. Arachnophobia. Time to let him go. He was big, man. Doot, 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 doot. That's how you trap a spider in Muskoka. Come on. Go live your life somewhere else. Ooh, maybe I should move my stuff. Good idea. Well, all the stuff is done. 
Table's out, barbecue's out, our chairs are out. That's for when people bring their kids up, keep them occupied. I just did the roof. I fixed the chimney top. I had to put plastic over it. This isn't supposed to be lying down. Up, up, up. And then the cottage is all, not all put together, but all the beds are down and stuff. So the living room is back to where it's supposed to look. What? Oh, nice. Yeah, so this is the first time I'm using the well. And there's also a hot water tank. New one, right? We have a new hot water tank? No. Oh, it's the same old hot water tank, but a new pressure tank so that we have good pressure. Uh, did you notice how much pressure came out of that thing? Yeah, look. Yeah, that's pretty good. Better. Nice. And so, so the beds are all down. One, two, three, four. Let's check this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Instant water. The, the well to the, or sort of the pump to the lake water was fine too, but now we can drink this. We don't have to bring water up anymore. We just had to do some tests for it and then we're good. All done doing what we needed to do. Uh, this is going to be a crazy mess to do. Probably take me a couple days, maybe three <laughs> full days of shoveling. Wow. And then I'm going to have to get like a pressure washer to get all the dirt off the steps. Not a fun job. Somebody's got to do it. Me. made it back home there's Sam he's waiting for the you know who who are you waiting for uh, Carol is oh, <laughs> you heard that I uh, went to a, a wedding shower so uh, she's on her way home uh, my drone guy who's fixing my drone is uh, he says I will get this drone to you today we will make this happen so I believe in this gentleman who is going to try his hardest to try and get my drone to me again my my bag doesn't get packed because the drone usually goes in first another thing I remember about uh, last time I was at the Toronto National uh, I guess Pearson I guess we'll call it um, don't put the batteries at the bottom of your bag because the guy took my whole bag apart just to get to my batteries and it's it's the big um, drone batteries because these show up as just a big black square chunk of possible C4. So so they uh, want to make sure they can see and know what is in your bag. So uh, I'm going to put them on top this time, but my drone needs to sit like dead center in here and then everything else needs to be put around it. Uh, so I have to wait till I get that. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to make sure my computer is up to date on all my vlog uh, updates. And right now I have to edit this vlog tonight so that I'll go up tomorrow at seven o'clock. So you guys have something to watch tomorrow while I'm in flight. My flight leaves at like 6.30 in the morning, I think. I uh, hope you look forward to the travel vlogs in Palm Springs. I'm looking very forward to doing them for you. I'm hoping to have my drone with me so I can do some kind of air cool aerial shots of the place that we're staying at. Uh, you can't fly too high in that area. There is a, an inter international airport probably a couple miles away, so you have to be very, very careful. So I wouldn't mind leaving that area, flying my drone, getting some good shots. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.